What's going on everybody? So I decided to do a ranked draft champions. I have not done one of these in a while and these are the ones that I take very very seriously if you know me. I'm out there to win the whole thing. Uh, they started a new season of it today so you guys can definitely go check it out. First of all, I got a decision here with coaching. I think I am going to go with Jason Garrett. I kind of like the Cowboys playbook. I know it's a very popular playbook though I haven't really messed around with it too much. Uh, here we go, round number one. It looks like we got some disgustingly terrible, awful gold. I'm going to take Colin Jones, though. He's a very good safety with 94 speed and 95 acceleration. You can't really go wrong with that. Please, you guys, be sure to drop a like on this video. It, oh, my God. Now I'm in a pickle. I'm taking Calvin Johnson, though. Because I feel like Aaron Rodgers, I might get another shot at somebody like that. And another good round coming up. Darnell Dockett, Indomitian Sue, or TJ Ward. I played with TJ Ward in my last Draft Champions video, and he was very, very good. Darnell Dockett and Sue are both great D tackles, but I think I'm going to take TJ Ward here just because he is kind of an all around stud. Oh my god, more elites. This one is an absolute no brainer. I am taking Ronald Darby. You need corners in these because a lot of the guys end up getting stud, like amazing uh, running or I can't even talk receivers here. Eddie Royal. Carlos Dansby or Giovanni Bernard. I'm going to take Eddie Royal as a receiver because you can never have too many receivers. I'm a passing guy. I like to throw the football. Uh, Byron Maxwell, Bud Dupree. I'm going to take... I'm going to take Bud Dupree just because of his speed. Just on the basis of how fast that guy is. He has 90 speed for a linebacker. And now I have a decision to make. I can take Chris Myers or Clint Bowling. I'm going to take Clint Myers. I'm not, I don't need a running back. I don't really... Unless something comes up in the last round that's ridiculous... I'm not going to be drafting a running back. Here is where, oh, sorry, my phone's going off. Here is where I go and I get my quarterback with Phillip Rivers. I love Phillip Rivers. Hopefully nothing better comes up because I really want to keep him. And now we get another great cornerback in Drake Kirkpatrick. This has been a pretty sweet draft so far. Uh, Jerry, I already have a right outside linebacker. I already have a quarterback. I'm just going to take another receiver. I'm just going to make my receiving crew that much better and add Greg Jennings to the crew. And here we got our tight end in Julius Thomas, who I can throw those super overpowered uh, drag routes to. Um, Tyrone Crawford, Tom Bahali, or Glover Quinn. This has got to be Tyrone Crawford. I'll put him on the D-line, make my defensive tackles a little bit better. And oh my god! Oh, okay, somebody pinch me. Somebody, quickly. 98 Jerry Rice. And how? why did they put 98 Jerry Rice next to Devin Still and Justin Houston? Like, to me, that doesn't even make sense. I'm taking 98 Jerry Rice, and I'm going to be happy with that. Here, i got to shut up my phone real quick. Um, just, okay. Uh, next round, left outside linebacker Thomas Davis. Heck yes, I'm taking Thomas Davis. I think I got the best receiving crew ever, and we still have our Legends round. Oh, no way. Emmett Smith, Donovan McNabb. And Sean Taylor. I have never used Emmett Smith before, and I don't have a running back. And I don't really need McNabb. I'm gonna take Evan Emmett Smith and make this probably the craziest draft I have ever had. I have Jerry Rice and Emmett Smith in the same draft. Now tell me that's not insane. The 83 overall offense. I cannot wait to bring you guys this gameplay. Please be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed this draft and are excited for the gameplay, and I'll see all you guys next time.